In part one, we showed making a small change to text and adding a test list, uh, text box in the registration screen. So let's go back to the demonstration system and where we were. So far, we've uh, added a job number and location, and now I'm going to add uh, one or two other little screens in here. So let's put this back into edit mode. Now, first of all, I want to pull uh, put add a pull down list box. Um, perhaps you want to note the weather on the site when we're taking the sample, if it's being taken externally. Um, perhaps that's important to us. So first of all, I'm going to bring in another box. Here we are. We'll take one of those, shove them on the screen. And uh, in this case, we're just going to have a little pull down here like this. Uh, there we go. Good. Um, and I'm going to change that to be a combo list box. And instead of being a simple combo list box, I'm going to call it a drop down list. So we'll have a list of things in here which we can call. And actually, I've already predefined a list called weather with sunny, rainy, etc. in it. So we'll just use that. Uh, it sees me setting that up on the fly here. If I just copy one of these, and then we can see on the screen what it's meant to be. So I'll change that to be weather. If I could spell it, there we go. And we'll save that, and immediately you can see those changes available. And um, here's the list which I've predefined, so we could call that Misty, you know, as we're taking the um, the samples. So we know it's being taken at uh, the River Ross, and we know it's um, it's Misty. Well, perhaps we um, we take the samples on a different date than we're registering them. So we want to make a separate note of the the date of registration. So that's something else we could do here. So uh, what I want to do now is to include in here um, another date and have a separate date for both collection and registration. So first of all, I need to make a little bit of space in here to do that. So I'm going to move these across to the right slightly. So I'll line that up here, line this up in here. We could do it like this, for instance. There we go. Um, and then we'll make another um, date box in here. So this time I want to pick a sample date field. There we go. So I'll just pick one of those. And put that in here. Something like this. Again, give it a bit of space between the two and line it up with the other box. I'll uh, copy the date picker. Now, there's one thing we've got to do with this, and that's the um, the idea of this is ID of this is two two one. So with the date picker, I want to, when I pick a date, I wanted to put it into two two one. So I'll change that to be two two one, so it goes into that field. So that's all you need to do with that. And then I need to change this to be date of sampling or sampling date. I'm going to call it because I think that's more sensible. So let's call that date. There we go. And then I'll copy that. And I'm going to call that registration date. There we go. For instance, um, so if I uh, wanted to put a registration date in here, I would just pick a date and it goes in. Um, by default, I've left it blank. I could put a number in here by default, but I haven't. We can say sampled then and it was misty, for instance. That's uh, how to extend the field slightly and put in um, a pull down and a, a, a date uh, picker in here as well. In part three, I'll show a little bit more about auto-generating screens and controlling those changes in the lab. Meanwhile, if you wanted to have a demo with us, then uh, please contact us on these numbers below or uh, look at us on the website 
autoscribingautomatics.com. Thanks very much for listening.